If you are new to video editing and you have no idea how to use text and graphics in your videos, then you're in the right place. Today I'll be showing you how to use text in iMovie specifically and also how to level up your game using Canva for graphics. As always, slow it down. I know I go through this pretty fast and I have been editing for a while. So definitely what you want to do is go back and rewatch each section. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description for all the different sections in this video so that you can go through and do each section slowly. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into it today. We're just going to go ahead and create a new project. And we're going to start fresh. Now today's clip is we have a super long video that is my project to edit this weekend for a client. And we'll just go ahead and import that. Now it doesn't really matter what clip you use at all. We're just using this as a placeholder so that we can jump into our graphics. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into titles. Now immediately once you are open in titles, you're gonna see this huge library of a selection of graphics that you can use. And these are all presets. Now each of these graphics, like I said, are presets. That means that they have pre-designed styles and pre-designed motion built into these graphics so they're ready to use right now. And what this means is you can't really edit them too much. There are a handful of things that you can do and that's what we'll go over right now. So what can you change? You can actually change things like the, uh, the text, the font size, you can change the orientation and alignment, and you can also change the color as well. And we'll deep dive into all of those settings. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pick a graphic. Now it doesn't matter which graphic you want to use to get started. Something that I like is this one that is the split lower third. Go ahead and drag that onto our selection. Now what we can do here is we just want to make sure this is a nice big font. You don't want it too thin and hard to see because um, it's going to be big bold titles and they're going to change quite frequently. So we want to make sure that we can see them as long as they will be on the screen. Now I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit and it says 4 seconds. Generally speaking for lower thirds, in other words the lower titles on the screen, is we want to make sure they're very fast. Uh, you're still able to read them. So generally speaking, you want to slide this left and right, and you can do it on both ends. And that's how you'll decide how long it is and how short it goes. And you can select this from anywhere between 4 and 6 seconds, I found is a pretty reasonable time. So that way when you play this, we'll see on the screen that it lasts a good amount of time. And then it'll go away. So let's talk about all these settings here. In order to change the graphic, what you want to do here is select the clip. And then if you go up here to the text and double click it, you can actually change it. So let's say this is point number one. And from there, I'll just go to over to point number one and we're going to select our font. Now a really easy font to get started is this Avenir Next Bold. And this is your generic basic large font. Now over here, up here on the edge right here, we have auto. This is your font size. So if you hit this little arrow, you can actually change the font size or you can go in here and actually type it. So let's say it's 120. 120 is like a pretty decent one when you're doing these lower areas. Now next you also have the alignment over here. You can align it to the left, to the middle, to the right, or you can center it. And this just generally doesn't change it too much unless you have more text on the screen. Now, after that we have that, I would just left align it for now because they're gonna have those presets already set for you. You have a couple options here. You have this bold, you have italics, so you can just slant it real quick, and then you also have an outline. Now this outline will just outline it real quick in black. There's not really much you can do to change that, but I like it quite simply. If you're using a basic color, you can just do a straight up bold, and the other ones are actually non-existent for me. And then you have this guy. Now this guy will pull up a color wheel and you can use this to decide what color you want the text. So let's say if I want this a blue, I can just go ahead and select that. And it now changed my font to a blue. Now I'm not too happy with that in general. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch that back to the white. And you can also use this little eyedropper as well. And then there you go, you now have a solid understanding of the basic idea for text. Now let's say you're bored with this and you wanna try out something new. I want you to check out what we can do with Canva for graphics with video editing. And I know it sounds weird, like you wouldn't really think of Canva as a design tool for video, right? Well, let me show you how to do that. All right, so first off, we just wanna go ahead and we are going to go into Canva. 
Alright, so while we're in Canva, let's just go ahead and scroll over here to video. And we want to make sure we do this YouTube video one, which you just want to make sure the notes are 1920 by 1080. And we want to create a blank template. Now from here, this is super cool and super easy. The first thing that you want to do is we are going to come over here to this color wheel. And let's just go ahead and pick a basic green color. This is going to act as our green screen that we can use in our settings later. Now the next thing you want to do is we're going to go into our elements. And let's just say we want to do a Facebook logo. Scroll over here, and actually, you know what? This first one is pretty basic and great. Let's go ahead and select that. Now, this is your actual video size, so we want to plan ahead. Let's go ahead and put this over here on the bottom right for now. And you can select this any which way you want to. I just generally found that that lower third line in this general area is a good space to use for that. Now, next, here's another cool thing. We want to go over here to this animate setting. What this does is it will do our transition for us so that we don't even have to touch anything. And this is the really cool part. So let's say I want to use one, and if you don't have Canva Pro, that's totally fine. We're just going to go ahead and use one that doesn't use Pro. And the Pro icon is indicated right here by that little crown icon. Let's use this simple one called Rise. All right? Now, if we click the play button, we're going to notice that it does the whole animation for us, and all we did was select a preset. And that's it. All right, so that's pretty much how we want to do that. Now the other thing too, is we're gonna select a new layer here and we want to exit out of that as well. So we're gonna go over here to this plus sign and add a transition. Now for this transition, why don't we just do a simple dissolve? And this is gonna be our end slide. So we'll just make that two seconds. So we have this graphic here, we added the Facebook logo in our transition, and we added that second layer as our outro. Now here's what happens when we play it. I'm gonna play it from the beginning. And this is what it looks like. There we go. That's as easy as that. Okay, so now all we have to do is export this and upload it into our video before we actually go in and export our whole project. So we'll go over here to share. We'll download this. We want to have all pages. So that means the first section and the second section. And make sure the file type is MP4. We don't want the actual graphic. We just want the MP4. Click download. Okay, so now that we have that, we're just going to go ahead and drag this to the side here so that we can upload it. And from here, I'm just going to grab and drag this into our screen. And here's how we're going to do this. So what I want to do is, let's say if I want it over here after that first graphic, we'll slide this over to the area. Now from here, here is the crazy part. We're going to click on this clip. And this tab is our video overlay settings. Now we had set this to a green screen. We're gonna change this cutaway setting to green or blue screen. And if you notice here, it takes away from the green, so we're left with only the logo. Now the softness, if you notice here, our softness has varying degrees of that outline. I'm gonna go ahead and put this all the way up for my situation, and we're gonna hit that check mark sign. Now we have that Facebook logo. Here's the cool part. If I go ahead and push play now, I'll let this play from start to finish and you're gonna see this Facebook logo come on now. All right, there it is. So that's how I use Canva for my graphics. I'll create all of my graphics in Canva on this green screen, and then just hit that green screen setting inside iMovie, and that way I have professional graphics I use for free using Canva and iMovie. Now, I know we went over a lot in this video, so definitely feel free to slow it down, go back to each section, and go over them piece by piece until you get this down. If you wanna get started on Canva, go ahead and click the link in my bio, and you can get started today for a free trial. And yes, this is a paid link at no expense to you. All this does is get you started and you will be able to help support this channel as well. And honestly, even if you use my link or you just go to the website, I personally don't care. Canva has saved me so much time in my video editing process for simple graphics like this. And it's just an honestly a great platform to be using. And if you found any value in this video, go ahead and smash that like button so that more people just like you are able to watch this video and leave a comment down below. I really appreciate the conversations that are happening there and you guys are asking great questions so really keep it up because I'm more than happy to help and with that I will give you guys more and more video hacks with editing in the next videos so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one <music>